All I feel is this euphoria. I must be losing my mind. Ooh, okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. It could just be her artifact. I just have to look through. Ooh, is it? It's probably gonna be the artifact. Yeah, okay. That's fine, we get one copy. I think it would be funny to get another artifact before we end off, but we don't. Okay, so we are pitying. Who's that girl? It's, I'm glad we didn't have to pity the last uh, limited. All right, before I even do a build reveal, I just want to say I do not have the gear for this unit. And honestly, even if I gave her the best of the best of gear that I own, it still wouldn't even be worth it because I'm going to be honest with you guys, I don't really think this is that good of a unit. Um, I think she does have a niche. I think if there was one change that they could make that could make her, I guess, more like fine-tuned in her role, I would say give her an extinction on her S3. Because like when you're going to use this unit, most likely into Captain Landy's, um, MLU Fina's like units that are slow, ML can stuff like that. And given the requirements that are necessary for her to even do enough damage, I I don't know. I don't know, guys. I just I feel like maybe giving her extinction might make her a little bit better because at least then, if she kills off a unit, they won't just get revived or they won't just like, you know, whatever, right? Like I think that would be nice. Or making it so that i don't know i don't know what they can change about this unit it is a little weird but anyway this is her stats her hp is a very very low um so i have her on portrait just to make up for the lack of hp that she has hopefully we can get enough debuffs that it won't matter you know who I am. all right i'm gonna be honest I don't think we have enough damage for this, but I guess we'll find out. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. I I hope I, I hope we don't lose this attack. Um, okay. Decrease combat. Oh, that is not ideal at all. Actually, wait. Did a Ravi? Okay, she got her turn reset. That's there's that at least. Um, we're gonna seal her. Maybe we get a stun off, please. Ooh, no stun. Okay. Oh, I still cut in front. All right, who do I kill? Let's see. Who's the slowest on their team? I think it was Sinya. So we're going to have her kill Sinya. So we're gonna try to kill this. Which, she should die, theoretically speaking. My Jackal should do enough damage, yeah. And hopefully we can stun. We do not. But, we cut in front. I think I just kill this, right? Because if I kill her, like, Sinya cannot solo this team. So yeah, let's do that. So let's see how much damage we do. Uh <laughs> Wait, I didn't... Did, did Sinya resist? Please miss. Oh, she didn't land any debuffs. Okay, that's fine. Um, what? Only 9k damage? I guess Portrait didn't proc because she was below, but only, what? Round two, fight. Alrighty. Alright, so this Navy Captain Landy is extremely slow. Okay, she's like extremely slow. 
So like the speed difference should be there. <laughs> we should definitely get the speed difference, right? Okay, we land some more debuffs. Um, there is going to be some mitigation, which might be a problem. We're going to do this. Is everybody turn reset? Um, not Karina. Not Karina. Um, two turn, two turn, two turn. I'm going to wait a turn, actually. I'm going to hope I don't die here. But we're going to wait a turn. Listen, we're trying for best possible outcome here. We're going to put some more debuffs on the enemy. Just stacking it up, right? All right, everybody's asleep. That is a lot of debuffs. All right, so we're going to push her up. She should kill this. She should definitely kill this. Let's see how much damage it does. Okay, that was that was 21k. I, I'm pretty sure that was a 21k hit. That is, looks more like what I am. What makes the most sense? I just think we kind of like. <laughs> You have to really bank on them being a really slow build. Like, really, really slow. And not everybody's going to be that slow, so... Alright, so let's see. This is this is with no debuffs. Um, <laughs> so let's see how much damage she does with not a single debuff on the board. 1,000 damage. Okay, as expected. Oh, <laughs> Oh gosh, she's so conditional. You have to just have all the right conditions in order to really do anything. Alright, we had to troll one fight. <laughs> we had to troll one fight. We have Ezra here on the board. I We're going to see what happens. I've never used him before. I know that you want to have a ton of debuffs. I don't think this will be enough debuffs unless we all. Oh, they resisted all of that. Okay. Um, we're going to seal the Celine. Awkward enough, Celine is the slowest person here. I want to go for this instead, though. Who do I go for? We're gonna go for. Is everybody turn reset? Okay, yeah. Um, Selene's the slowest. We're just gonna go for the Senya. We're gonna see what happens. We're gonna see if we can kill the Senya. Nope. Um, <laughs> nope. Uh, not at all. But maybe we could kill with Ezra. Ooh! <laughs> that was satisfying. That that was really nice. They all just like popped. <laughs> Alright, I wanted to do one arena showcase just to see what happens to take her into a team of four. Um, against some relatively like units that you would see maybe in an RTA match you would draft up against. I don't know this team in particular, but let's see how it's going to go. I don't think we have enough damage to melt through everybody, and if that Yubine, and she is on Holy Sack, so we might just be dead. We might just be dead, to be completely honest. Okay, push back. More debuffs. Did we hit everyone? We didn't hit everybody. We turn reset the... Oh, we didn't strip that away. That anti-crit. That's going to be a problem. Um, Let's seal and try to RNG get a stun. 
<gasps> oh, we did it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Okay. So do I kill... Let's try to kill this. This is the slowest unit, so we're going to try to do that first. I do that first. Okay, 21k, just like that one match. And then... Let's just go into her. Oh wait, I totally misclicked. I, I don't know why I thought my S3 wasn't up. Oopsie. Um, let's see how much we do. Okay, we have a little bit. Um, we have to kill this. We stun. That's nice. Oh, this is actually really bad. Um, please kill. <laughs> I know I have decreased attack, but like, please. Holy sack. Suspected. Um, oh, I think Euphine just solos this entire team, huh? Do I have any way? I don't think I do. Who do I go for? If I stun, I might kill. Oh? Wait. Oh, she's dead. We just some fixed damage there. And yeah, it's working. We're winning. That box again. Oh, that Summer Luka definitely does not have that high of effectiveness. Um, for her to be getting debuff. Uh, not effectiveness, effect resistance. So is this valid? This is the valid team. Oh! I, <gasps> I was not expecting to die like that. Oh, okay. She had. Oh my gosh, so they are geared. They're definitely geared. Um. That was crazy. Um, soul burning. I don't know why I'm soul burning, as if I've just done that. But we won. It was a success. It worked out. Alrighty, my thoughts, my thoughts, my thoughts on this unit. I think she needs a little buff. I think she needs something to make sure like she's such a conditional unit she requires so much setup to do one thing and one thing only which is like to one shot a slow unit and i feel like in that case like when that happens it should be a little bit more rewarding i guess like the skill null is nice i think if they were to just add like extinction to our s3 like that would be enough like i i, I honestly think that would be enough because in a RTA situation, you can deal with MLU Fina, right? Because you, if she, most MLU Finas are on Holy Sack, you don't have to worry about her just coming back. Um, on top of that, you can also kind of deal with Navy Captain Landy or ML Ken drafters that draft Destina with those units. So like, you don't just get like immediately punished because after she uses her s3 she doesn't really do anything else yes she has a soul burn stun but how often are you going to have like enough effectiveness to like stun the other units um most people are probably not going to have this much effectiveness because they're going to put all of that into hp right to put her closer to like 25 2500 hp something around those lines and things like that, right? They're not gonna have that high of effectiveness. So it's kind of like a trade-off, you know? Maybe if her S2 applied another debuff, right? It makes them able to be buff, but maybe just another debuff, like decrease hit chance or just something else. Maybe one debuff that's not necessarily that common. Oh, I guess if you are curious, this is my Ezra's gear. Um, it's kind of all over the place. 
nothing too spectacular. He's just on random gear pieces, basically playing around his fixed damage on his S3. And then I guess I can show you guys my other units as well that I use in this video. We have Knockwall here. She is geared for slower, but more so for effectiveness. And then who else did we use? We use Jacko, who her gear got nerfed. I have Jacko to lie to you. Her gear did get nerfed a little bit, but uh, these are her stats at the current moment. And then we have a DDR. I know he was used. DDR, love this unit. Such such a fun unit to use. These are his stats. And I think that was everybody. I'm pretty sure that was everybody. And of course, we have the star of the video, Blooming Lydica. Anyway, if you did enjoy the video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Peace out.